What I do is I help people who are testing software. Um, I help them look at what they're doing. I help them look at areas where they're having problems and issues, where they're not meeting their release deadlines, where they're not testing efficiently, where they're not finding defects. Um, if they've got problems with after releases and the thing falls in a heap and makes the papers and everybody reads and goes, oh my God, what happened there? Yes, Centrelink, I'm looking at you. Um, so that's what I do. I, I help them improve their testing processes and use the right tools, use the right amount of testing in the right circumstances, not do too much, not do too little. It's like the Goldilocks equation. Um, just the right for their budget and their risk level. So they can hand on their heart say, yes, we tested it properly, effectively, efficiently, and we did it in time, and we didn't get too many errors after we went live. I've been specialising in testing for nearly 30 years. So three decades of watching people um, being involved in testing projects, um, seeing things through to the end, seeing what happens after releases go live, what sort of problems are endemic in certain environments, um, what are the sort of key issues, the underlying reasons and causes for those issues. Um, lots of, lots of war stories. Um, some of them pretty funny, some of them not so much, but there you go. Um, but really just that much experience in, in helping people through the process and getting to a result where their software can go live. Um, I've had people that have invested everything, including their house, into their software products, so it's pretty high stakes going for them, have come in with their, with their gold disc and we found errors with their releases. Um, finance, banking, defence, um, you know, client server environments, state and federal government, um, all sorts of, in, of environments, mobile devices, so tablets, mobile phones, mobile phones, the wild west of software development. Yes, watch out if you're developing phone applications. Um, lots, of, lots of different things over the years. So I've really watched it grow from being a, an ivory tower exercise that nobody understood to being, look, well, it's in everybody's hands these days. So it's, it's just everywhere and people are very, very reliant on it. What prompted me to do that was I found I was having the same conversation over and over again with my clients. And I realised over about a five or six year period that if I bottled this up and if I could deliver it online to a, to a market that was interested in that, I could help them be their own consultant and help them with the right, asking the right people the right questions, doing their investigation work, giving them options, uh, looking at how they, how they want to run their testing processes, what they want to do, what their budgets are, what their risk levels are. Um, all of that is the same sort of conversation. So I realised that I could bottle it up into an online course. And the reason I reached out to Shani was because the guru at helping me market online courses. So that's been really valuable. Working in the power of online marketing course has been excellent. It's been quite an eye-opener. Even for me, you know, an IT veteran of 30 years, there's a lot of new approaches, uh, a lot of new uh, social media type marketing approaches, a lot of things I didn't know very much about. So it was a pretty steep and challenging learning curve. But I mean, you were there, Shani was there all the time to help me through it, which was excellent. Um, and working through the, the importance of having the group uh, the group chats, you learn from other people as well. You can see other people in similar circumstances with good ideas, uh, trying to reach the people that they can help with those ideas. And it's like a whole new world. And I always knew that from, from my background of fairly, I would call it fairly conservative IT, that there was this whole other side and that's where I wanted to be. So that's where I wanted to try. For me, coming out of a, an extremely negative work environment, I mean, you know the stories, office hours, 60, 70 hours a week, no family life, year after year of that sort of um, environment is not very good. Uh, so coming out of that, being able to know that there is value to what I know, there is value to other people in what I can help them with and, and how I can help them, and bottling that up in such a way that it's accessible to everybody globally, you know, I don't have to just make sure they're just down the street before I can help them, has, has been really good. It's a very positive experience. This coming year, so uh, 2017, I'm looking forward to finishing off the course material, uh, getting some students through the course, and I think then proving the um, premise that there is something of value in that material that I've spent 30 years learning, and that I can short circuit other people's pain and angst when it comes to testing these things and get a better result for them. And then they have that knowledge to move on with, and they can be their own um, uh, consultant in the area.